Hey, and welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's a place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Ballas, of the Society of Jesus. That's the California province of the Jesuits. We're the largest religious order in the Catholic Church. And we're here in the remnants of the NOC, the Network Operations Center at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center for Interop Las Vegas 2008. Well, we're uh, just about out of here, but before we went, I wanted to give you a little bit of an interview that I did with some of our, fr of our friends over from DisplayLink. You may remember DisplayLink from CES 2008 when they showed us their DisplayLink chipset, the new adapter that allowed you to get VGA, DVI quality, full motion video out of a USB connector. Well, check it out and thanks again for stopping by the Tech Stop. So we're here at the DisplayLink booth with Sofia Malenkovich. Now, uh, the last time we saw DisplayLink was at CES 2008. We actually did two episodes featuring DisplayLink products with uh, a DisplayLink adapter and the uh, Kensington notebook dock. One of the big questions we've had from our audience is, when are you going to have drivers for a Mac? And we actually have promised our users to release uh, the Mac version in March. We actually managed to uh, release it up to the date. This is our first uh, Mac beta version. So uh, the Mac users have been extremely interested in our product um, and um, especially um, certain uh, the mini, uh, the Mac mini. Um, there is no way of adding extra displays without display link. Um, so the demand has been extremely high. Our engineering team has been working very hard um, to develop this driver and um, we are still continuing. This is only the beta version, but uh, we're getting there. Um, That's on a MacBook Air. Well. Yeah. Absolutely. So finally this allows our Mac users um, to uh, add multiple monitors um, to the Mac Air book, the uh, Mac Mini which um, they probably already know that it is impossible without a display link solution. Right, I, I was just thinking about that. With a MacBook Air, there is no external VGA or DVI out, so pretty much you have to do it this way. Absolutely, so with a single USB cable, you can add up to six monitors. It is working as always perfectly. You disconnect and... Reconnect back on, and a few seconds later, you will have your ex uh, extra displays. Now, how many mo up to how many monitors can the uh, Mac drivers handle? I know the PC drivers can handle up to six. What? We're currently advertising for um, extra displays on the Mac. Um, All right, fantastic. As you can see it's working perfectly well. So, what else have you brought to the show? So um, another demo that we have here, we would like to um, make our users aware that not only that our solution is uh, more cost effective, but also there is the green IT um, coming into um, the question. So here this demo um, has um, actually it's um, comparing two uh, PCs. One of them has the traditional graphics card inside. The second one has our solution, so this is the um, display link software on it. Um, both PCs have uh, two displays attached, exactly the same content displaying, but um, as you can see, there is a difference in the power. So this is um, the um, power by um, display link solution, and then almost doubled in that using power for a traditional graphics card. And that's just because it, it, you don't have to have a higher power graphics card to run multiple displays. Absolutely. That's fantastic. Okay, so we've got the multiple displays, we've got the MacBook Air, we've got the lower power consumption. Uh, what else does DisplayLink have for the show? And we have proved that our wireless demo is definitely working. So um, here now with the, um, with the um, wireless USB hub available anywhere nowadays, you can add um, up to um, six monitors. Um, it just works plug and play. So on a MacBook Air, uh, on a green PC, on a wireless USB, what else do you have at the show? The very latest and greatest is the Minimon <laughs> um, that we um, have, um, that is actually available now. 
uh, with a Samsung uh, 22 inches monitor. But this, this display is actually um, standalone. It is a USB powered, um, again, very low power consumption. And um, very easily you can add an extra display for your um, MSN or um, email, as you can see here. Right, so, so it's sort of a, it's a compliment display. It's supposed to hold your, your IM client or your uh, Jabber, your Twitter, whatever. Absolutely. So you can just extend your top on a desktop onto a Minimon. I, I know that uh, normally you were only bundling this with, say, Samsung monitors in the past. Uh, might these start being available for just regular purchase? So we're expecting this product to be available uh, um, standalone by the end of the year, around Christmas time, but also we're expecting to have this product with many other customers. So just plug it in and you get a mini, mini monitor to hang off the side of your, your That's display. That's what it takes. I notice over here that you actually have the innards out uh, and displayed. So you can it, see. I, I don't see a power connector. I only see the USB connector. This is only power, a USB um, powered. So that's all you need. So the entire display, including the LCD, is powered via USB. Absolutely. That's fantastic. I mean, that's that's something that you could use. I could see you using that on your notebook on a plane. You display your movies on this while you keep your notebook in the bag. Well, thank you very much, Sophia, and uh, good luck with displaying on the last day of the show. Thank you very much.